Welcome to Next Game's video on November 2020's Ambuscade Volume 2 against several waves of bombs. In this video, I'll go over the key item acquisition for this month, the November 2020 Volume 2 strategy, and then show you a battle example on very difficult of what this fight looks like this month, as well as show you a little treat that they've thrown in this month. First, let's talk about the key item acquisition. The easiest place I find to get this this month is to go to Fei Yin Home Point Number 2. Here you will immediately find some weapons that you can kill for your one Arcana kill per day, or you can kill these weapons along with other golems, dolls, and pots in the area to get the 10 kills you need to do this more than once a day. Now this month's ambuscade is against several waves of bombs. Now a normal bomb will spawn in that first wave that has the ability to grow in size which will presumably make him stronger even though I didn't really notice a difference as he grew. He does have the ability to self-destruct and even though it normally doesn't hit me for much, it does have the ability to one-shot you under certain circumstances so make sure you keep up Migawari at all times during this fight. This first mob has a substantial amount of hit points, so it will take longer than most of the rest that you're about to kill. Once that first bomb is dead, then a Snoll will appear that has very little hit points, and normally will die with a single skill chain. Now after that Snoll is defeated, the third wave will spawn a cluster, which will have access to the normal cluster attacks, and which seems to self-destruct for higher amounts of damage and more often than the first bombs, so definitely take caution here. He has a medium amount of hit points that normally takes less than two skill chains to take him out. Now after the cluster is killed, a Dejin mob will spawn which has similar amounts of hit points to the Snull, so it will normally die to a single skill chain which will spawn the fifth and final wave, which is again a cluster type mob. Now this last cluster has similar high hit point values to the first bomb that you killed and will almost always self-destruct for 2,000 to almost 10,000 damage. So make sure you have Migawari up to live through it and know that once it does that, you're probably going to finish the rest of this fight alone. Now the last thing I want to mention is they added something to this fight this month. Randomly, or based on a spawn condition that I've been unable to figure out, a golden bomb will spawn that will immediately self-destruct for a very low amount of damage, normally zero. When it does, you will get a 100 hallmark bonus to your run. Now I've done over 15 runs today to try and determine exactly what the spawn conditions are for this golden bomb. And he's only spawned on two of my 15 runs, and those runs were very different. I've tried using certain types of spells, certain types of damage, different trust, killing fast, killing slow, using skill chains, magic bursts, not using those, not using any weapon skills, not using any magic, etc. And nothing seems to force the spawn of it to occur. So be sure to look in the top posted comment as if someone does figure out some kind of reliable spawn method, I will post it there. Now for this run we'll be using our usual set of DD Trust, which includes Coltada to increase our attack, Joachim for marches. I chose to use Arcelia 2 as my red mage in this one to try and see if any of her spells would trigger the golden bomb to spawn. And then also Monboro and Sylvie for cures. Okay, let's go ahead and see how this quick run goes everyone. Enjoy the run.
be it for this month's Volume 2 Ambuscade video. If anyone figures out those Golden Bomb spawn conditions, please let us know. Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe and stay healthy.